Ninja. Hello and welcome to the first video in the new series Windows Movie Maker Basics. And in this episode I'll be showing you how to bring your video clips into Windows Movie Maker. Now before we start let's make sure you have the right version of Windows Movie Maker because there is more than one. Now for this series we shall be using Movie Maker version 6 which looks like this. Or if you have the storyboard enabled like this. Now to be honest most versions of Movie Maker look something like this and work in a similar way. If however your Movie Maker looks like this then that means you have got the live version of Windows Movie Maker. In which case this tutorial is not going to be of much use to you. If however you would like the same version of Windows Movie Maker that we are using in this series of videos then you can download your own copy free from the link on the media webpage. Ok now that we are talking about the same version let's get on with bringing the video into it. This is a process known as importing video. Now the first thing you need to do of course is upload your video clips from your camera to your computer and I would suggest you place them on the desktop for easy access. Now unfortunately Windows Movie Maker cannot handle a large range of video formats and it can even be a bit tetchy about the ones it can handle. So to ensure you get a problem free ride it's best to use video clips that are in Movie Maker's native format which is WMV. That's Windows Media Video. Now if you don't know what format your clips are in then right click on them like this and choose properties and you can see the format here. Now if they are not in WMV format then you would be best advised to convert them into WMV before using them. Now if you haven't got a video conversion program then just pop over to the media webpage and there you will find a link to a free video converter program. Ok so now you have your clips on the desktop in WMV format. Now there are a number of ways to import video into Windows Movie Maker but I'm going to show you just the three easiest ways which should be more than enough for most situations. The first method is very straightforward and just involves clicking on the import media tab which is here. Go to desktop, select the file you require and click import. And there it is. Method 2 uses the task column. Now if you can't see the task column then click on view then click on tasks and there it is. And now from the task column click on video and then you just select and choose your clip in the same way as you did in the last method. And there you have it. Now method 3 is probably the easiest of all. Just shrink Windows Movie Maker slightly, locate your video on the desktop, there it is, and drag and drop the file onto the media area. Voila, your file is imported. Now as the title Import Media suggests you can bring all media, not just videos but also sound files and picture files into Windows Movie Maker in exactly the same way and using exactly the same method. So there you go, you now have your video imported into Windows Movie Maker and in the next video I'll show you exactly what you can do with them. And don't forget you can find the entire series of the Movie Maker Basics videos at the media webpage. Well that's all for this episode so I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye for now. Yeah.